my name is Craig, I, and I'm the owner of Racing Cruise and Motorcycles here in Cantillus. Been here for 14 years. We have been doing this for a long time. Yeah, it's good fun. Essential maintenance checks. Obviously, your tire pressures are very important. Check your engine oils, check your chain tension, make sure it's okay. Routine maintenance that most guys know, but possibly not know how to, uh, to adjust it or change it. By law, you have an MOT every year. The MOT is, uh, is very, very good, uh, but it is the, the lowest standard there is, you know. Uh, a service once a year is a most thorough check. You're not allowed to remove parts on an MOT, whereas in a service you do. Once a year, generally, is, is a good benchmark. General signs of your bike needing a service, you know, uh, if you're checking the oil levels, as you should, you'll see that the oil's getting darker. So too much carbon in the oil could uh, makes it black. Yeah, if your tyres are starting to wear out a little bit or your chains are coming loose, you usually get rattly noises through the drivetrain. Port seals can start leaking and stuff like that during the course of a year. So it's all well worth having a wee look to see conditioning your bike from these aspects. With the weather in Scotland, is <laughs> not very nice to most motorcycles, to be fair. There's a lot of rust, we use a lot of salt. Wash them thoroughly, regularly. Don't use very tough detergent. A lot of folk don't realise that things like that will wash uh, some of the, the grease out of important areas like your steering bearings and stuff like that and it does prolong the life of your bike. The most common bike maintenance issues are definitely uh, worn out tyres, worn out brake pads, chains needing adjusted, seized links and chains, steering bearings from sitting in the same position uh, when it's sitting in their garage, port seals, wheel bearings and all that are all susceptible to rust and corrosion and, and failure, you know, if you leave them too long. At least every time you ride the bike, you should be checking your fluid levels. Check underneath, make sure it's okay. Just say tire pressures, make sure everything's good to go before you set out. You, you learn a lot of this through experience and talking to other bikers. Bikers are very nice people and they tend to be able to share information between each other.